Hey, how's it going guys, Zedai here. So what we received quite recently was quite interesting. This information is coming from officially Ubisoft CAO, Yves Gamot. And he has confirmed that there will be multiple remakes for the past of an Assassin's Creed games and that they're actually in the development. What makes it interesting as well that it's not one, but perhaps will be two or perhaps even more. We did hear this that it will be happening. We did hear from such as Tom Henderson and many different reliable sources multiple times. For example, that Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag will be getting a remake. Not a remaster, but a remake. Now, there were some also speculations and rumors relating that Assassin's Creed 1 shall also receive a remake. And you know what? I think it warranted because I think that Assassin's Creed 1 is the only Assassin's Creed that you cannot play on the most current gen consoles, especially I'm talking about the PlayStation consoles. Well, it's just unfortunate. But now when it gets its treatment of a remake, I think it might be a fantastic idea and a decision. On top of that, this game came out, I believe it was in 2007. I actually think it might be about time for it to get a remake. Nevertheless, if it does get a remake, then I think we'll still have to wait a few more years until we shall see it. I would have to say, and this is just my speculation, that this may be happening perhaps in 2027. So yeah, three years from now. Well, obviously because of the 20th anniversary, and I think it would be quite a nice callback from the start of how it all began with the Assassin's Creed titles. There's still some speculations going on, perhaps maybe we shall see an Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag remake first, and maybe two years afterwards we shall see the Assassin's Creed 1 remake. I would still argue and say that I would far more rather seeing of an Assassin's Creed 1 remake because I'm curious to see what kind of direction will they be able to pull off and how much of the things and changes that they will be able to do for that title. But Assassin's Creed 4, even now, it really does live up to you know how modern consoles are and also how great this game plays. But still, I'm not going to be saying it here and that I do not want to see this remake. No, in fact, yeah, I want to see this remake. I want to see how well it will be optimized and polished up to the point that it's not just a remaster, but a true on remake. So one of the interesting quotes mentioned by Eve, firstly, players can be excited about some remakes, which will allow us to revisit some of the games we've created in the past and modernize them. There are worlds in some of our older Assassin's Creed games that are still extremely rich. Secondly, there will be plenty of experienced variety. The goal is to have an Assassin's Creed games come out more regularly, but not for it to be the same experience every year. There are a lot of good things to come, including Assassin's Creed Hex, which we have announced, which is going to be a very different game from an Assassin's Creed Shadows. We're going to surprise people, I think. That actually makes me curious about the upcoming Assassin's Creed Hex as well. I wonder how far will they be able to pull it off in terms of having a brand new look towards what could be the future for an Assassin's Creed titles. And honestly, with his second idea and decision that he's going for, you know, having more frequent Assassin's Creed titles, but yet they're not going to be the same all the time. This genuinely is the best idea and the best decision to go with. Because when we received so many Assassin's Creed back to back, like I believe Assassin's Creed Unity, Assassin's Creed Syndicate, they just were disasters unfortunately. And a lot of people got burned out of them. Nevertheless, we had a little bit of a break for like about two years, then we received Assassin's Creed Origins and that was a step up I think anyway. And now we are seeing the same thing done, especially since Assassin's Creed Valhalla and I think it was like two to three years then we've seen Assassin's Creed Mirage. And now, additional year after following, obviously we're going to get Assassin's Creed Shadows, and I'm very much looking forward to this game. Now, there are speculations that the next year there won't be Assassin's Creed Hex, and instead it will be something like a multiplayer-related Assassin's Creed title, and Assassin's Creed Hex will most likely be coming out in 2026. So, like I already mentioned, I do think this is a good idea to revisit all their Assassin's Creed games and have a proper remake, not a remaster I'm talking about. Now, in terms of having rich worlds, what about Ezio Collection? What's going to happen with that title? And yet, Assassin's Creed 2, Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, and also Assassin's Creed Revelations, are they gonna get a treatment of remakes as well, or are they gonna get abandoned forever? I'm curious, because I feel that they definitely could do for a remake, 
but again, maybe it's a little bit too soon, but nevertheless, let's say like they'll start out and they will make the remix for an Assassin's Creed 1, then also Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. It's going to take few years, in fact, maybe half a decade, if not more. And at the time when it will be like presumably 2030, maybe that's when we shall see Ezio remakes. And in that case, I think it will be just fine. And I think that having by that time of an Ezio remakes, it would make more sense in that case because it would have been already what 20 years since the release my goodness just to think about that how long has it been since we received the very first assassin's creed game and then continuously started getting them more and more well that's all i wanted to have a little bit of discussion relating to an assassin's creed and remakes in general i'm very much looking forward to it i'm curious what they got in store relating to that and I'm very interested to see how much of changes and differences could they implement in those remakes. Alright, thank you so much for watching, like and subscribe, I'll see you guys all and have a wonderful day.